with millions of people visiting the WGXA News website in 2023, following the thousands of stories we've covered. One Macon Elementary student inside the classroom, on the farm, to learn what goes into running a dairy. During severe weather, the winds are so strong out here. While examining the root causes of crime in the Macon community, featuring those who make us proud and those who change the game at the Capitol and right here at home. You've been with us through it all. The search for the escaped inmates. A memorial for the former first lady. We're taking a look back at some of the moments most viewed by you, our WGXA viewers. Number 10, three arrested in connection to Dooley County murder. Number nine. I just felt like they would have did her a little better than that. A granddaughter raising questions in the handling of her grandmother's body at a Macon funeral home. As I was touching my grandmama's skin, I could see her skin moving. Number eight. Two men faced charges following arrest and hit and run collision that killed a middle Georgia teenager. Number seven. And we would like to warn you what you will see may be disturbing. Megan woman arrested after child abuse is caught on video by a neighbor. Get up. Get up. Number six. Arrest made in fatal hit and run collision that killed teenager. Number five. Bibb County Coroner apologizes for insensitive comments towards grieving mother. I was sorry. I was because I stated to him clearly in his face, do not release my baby name. And you told me, OK, number four, her family's worst fears. Unsettling details emerge in the disappearance of young Macon mother, Gabby Dixon. I feel like Bibb County failed me. They failed my daughter. Number three, engaged firefighters severely injured in on-duty accident in Upson County. Both driver and passenger were ejected from the fire truck. Number two, 23-year-old man fatally struck by multiple vehicles in Macon after running out of gas. And number one. So I started screaming and calling for help. Elderly woman's plea for help goes unanswered in Mid-State Nursing Home. We were signed by the janitor calling for help. Our WGXA news team appreciates you for letting us into your homes, allowing us to share your voice as we celebrate a successful 2023 and look forward to serving all of Middle Georgia in 2024. Wake up and join us, would you please?